So another family trip with those guys and those guys. Park there, I think it's about three pounds for the day. And then you walk up, when you start the walk, you're gonna go up obviously Ben Laws. And you start the walk by going through this nature trail here and then hit the side of the mountain. It's quite a nice day. I've already got a nice view, but the clouds are coming, so we'll see what it's like when we get up there. So we've come through here and you just follow the trail. We're still in the nature walk. Um, starting to go off, obviously. So my breath is going like a steam train. But in the very distance over there, you can see the car park. That's Loch Tay. I can't do it now because I'm videoing. So Sam just walked right in front of my video. Right. Cheers, thanks a lot. So that's where we need to go up there. And then we go up to that cairn there. And then this is where they must be paragliding off. Halfway. We're gonna maybe have a picnic. And then go over and see these two with an amazing view of the ridge here. You can see for miles. Miles and miles and miles and miles. <laughs> right, Scullies. He just crashed. No, he didn't. Is he gone? This chap's just about to go up up sailing. Look, he's going. He's going to jump off there. It's a good way to go down. So that's where we just had our lunch and the guys paragliding, I don't know whether you can see down the valley there and then one right up here, right there and then we've still got that bit up there to climb and you can see people all zigzagging up and then we've got to get right to the top there all the way over to there and then We'll take on Ben Law. Now, we've made it up here. Oh, you can see I'm puppy. It's quite a way up. Look at the views. Look at my little girl, Scarly. A little rock and a mountain. Just go on forever. However, we have still got to go all the way up there, and that's just to the top of first mountain. Bit of ridge, there's a bit of a sheer drop down there and then over there is where we had our lunch and we've climbed all the way you get a right nice view of Loch Tay and all the way across all those mountain ranges that side and then all the way across the mountain range. In fact, you can see the dam for the first time over there. We kind of meet this top part of the ridge. We're still not quite at the top of Benny Gas though. But you can see how high we've come. Our lunchtime ridge is now there. We followed that track all the way up. And a brilliant bit about this is the 360 views of the mountain it is unbelievable and there's the dam where we were over the other day but makes you feel really tiny yeah. you've got to go up to there there they'll just follow you it's definitely definitely worth it though please ignore that man with his weird headband on it's downhill this bit stuff. You've got to walk across this ridgeway to go up Ben Laws, which is there. We can maybe see a few people at the dotted there, but the view up here is absolutely incredible. There's a valley there with a stream. You can see right over there's a whole another lock just there. 
you can see people walking on the ridge across that mountain and obviously you've got a beautiful view of Loch Tay. So we're going to carry on along here ready to climb up there. Not really very good at heights so this is going to be a bit of a challenge for me. Um, it's obviously not the heights that worry me, it's the falling and uh, I just need to focus on the path otherwise I'll get a little bit but we've all got to challenge ourselves and I'm sure it'll be worth it to the other side of the ridge now there was a little bit of a pond down there still see locked hay it's a busy sunny Saturday so it's quite lots of people around a bit like Piccadilly Circus up here as you can see, we need to go up there, the can's just above that ridge, right at the very top. But you have to climb up these kind of stairways, it's a bit of a scramble. Um, not far to go. We've now come up to this ridge, and that's Ben Glass over there, so you can see where we've come from. And then we're on the last final hurdle. I'm going to go up there, I can see the cairn, I can see Auntie Lee. I don't know what's harder, climbing up the hill. I'm trying to keep that one motivated. She's struggling, but she's going to do it. I know she is. Superstar, Scarlet. Anyway, it's definitely worth it for the view. It makes you feel teeny tiny, teeny tiny. I've never seen so many people up here either. It's very busy today. Everyone's had the same idea. So we're just coming up to this final ridge where I've promised Scarlett we can sit down for two minutes before we just take on that last bit up there. Sorry if I sound like a steam train. <laughs> Proper puffing. But I can admire the view. Here she comes. And we just got that last bit to go. Do you reckon you're going to make it, Scars? I reckon you will, too. Finally got here. Why Definitely you do, worth it. Why do you do it. that one on top of it? No. Obviously. Um, Let's go. I've got to get to the top. That's the ridge. If you don't touch it, it doesn't count. But there's Where a paraglider. There was some guy um, in no, a glider no. down there. Right. And then stick them. I'd have been good. None of the monsters really come in here, and if you had a torch, like a fire torch. And someone's wild camping down there, which would be amazing to wake up here in the morning. And so you forget and walk down the hill and then die. I don't think you do that, so. So. Start our descent. Someone while camping down there, that would be amazing. Wake up up here to beautiful sunrise. Although there is, sorry, my finger was completely in that shot. Um, there's hundreds and hundreds of midges. I've just sprayed myself in the hope that they won't be attracted to me. We're going to go a slightly different way down. I'm not going to go over that bridge. I'm going to go down there, back to the car park. Descent now, which weirdly I found a lot more difficult. Not because it's out of breath and fitness, just because I don't like to feel unsteady on my feet too much. So I always use my poles so that I've got more point of contact with the ground, but also just make me feel a bit securer because I do get a bit scared. I'm a bit of a wuss. On our way down, that's the track that we came up and that's the track that we're going to go down. Does it? <laughs> So this is where we're going to start walking now, so we're not going back up that ridge there because we've had enough of climbing. 
So we're just going to enjoy a bit of a, it's very noisy here today. Um, we're just going to enjoy a little walk, more of a trail walk. In fact, you can see the route there, loads of people on it. And uh, yeah, so we've probably got another two miles. Halfway down the track. And actually, beautiful view along that valley. And then we've just got to follow that track round the side of the hill there. And uh, head back to the car park. This way is much better. Last time I went up, I came down the same way. And it really hurts your legs coming down the other side because it's literally like going down steps. It'll, this way it's much more gentle and uh, more of a trail so it's definitely worth coming down this way. Reversing the stream. Whoa, too busy watching her, nearly killed myself. Little mountain stream. little ridge that comes down now and then you go along that bridge bit there and into the nature reserve bit. I think we've got about a mile left to go just under a mile of walking and it's been an amazing day and uh, I'm super pleased that my whole family came up with me although Scarlett was very hard work I'm hoping that when the pain of the climb goes, they'll always remember the achievement and actually managing to bag two Monroes in one day, and one of them being Ben Laws, which is actually higher than any mountain in England and Wales. So it's higher than Snowdon. And uh, I hope that eventually they'll forgive me and be pleased that I've managed to share this beautiful, beautiful route with them. And they've managed to walk nearly seven miles and climb. Well, I think it's over 3,000 feet, which is an amazement achievement. So you just come back across the main road and then through this little bit here. A little information about the nature reserve that we just bought through and then we come back to the very end. I hope you enjoyed the journey up Ben Laws with me and my family. If you want to join me on any more of my mini adventures please subscribe to my channel.